Hello, welcome to TikTok. I'm Robin Swithinbank, a watch critic and editor-in-chief of The Jackal magazine. Today we're talking about some of the latest watches from the Mont Blanc collection. Mont Blanc is, I think, often thought of first and foremost as a pen maker, and that's what it's known for. It holds most of the market. But as of about 20 years ago, they started making luxury watches as well. One of the watches which I wanted to look at today is the Time Walker. Uh, the first one I picked out is just this simple uh, three-hand automatic date model, uh, which is, is the essence, really, of this new Time Walker collection. I was talking to the guy who designed the, this collection the other day, and he was saying, you can't fake touch. People want a product which you can engage with through your fingertips. And so while you have this very, very smooth, highly polished black ceramic bezel, you've also got the knurling, which is practically very useful when it comes to gripping. It does communicate to you through the fingertips in a way that uh, many watches don't. The, the other watch that I picked out is this chronograph model, which is a, a very muscular, robust, quite angular piece of design. It's very redolent of uh, the classic era of motorsport. Another of Mont Blanc's collections which has been very successful and very well received is the 1858 line, uh, which is named after founding year of the Minerva watch factory. And Minerva is based in a, a Swiss town called Villeray, and it's a very traditional Swiss watchmaking facility. But one of the things that's particularly significant about this watch is that it's bicolour, a beautifully satin finished stainless steel with uh, a bronze bezel and a bronze crown. And that's a really unusual mix, and it's the first time that Mont Blanc have, uh, have brought the two materials together, which uh, I think makes it a hugely successful piece of watch design. And the most complicated piece which um, I've picked out from the current collection is this Heritage Spirit Orbis Terrarum Latin Unicef. Functionally, it's one of the most uh, simple and easy to use uh, world time watches on the market. It just has this button down here at eight o'clock, which you push in order to adjust the time forwards in one hour jumps. And I think sometimes when you're spending a good chunk of money on a luxury watch, it's nice to know that some of the money that you're investing is going to a good cause. And then this last piece that I picked out is the Heritage Chronometry Twin Counter Date, um, which for me is, uh, is a brilliant daywear watch. So it's got a stainless steel case, but on its dial it has a number of rose gold elements. So it has rose gold hands, it has rose gold hour markers, and what that means is that it's a watch that you can slip under your business suit when you're going out for dinner or to a, to a special occasion. Uh, as a piece of design, it's wonderfully balanced as well. So on the left-hand side, you have a 60-second uh, counter, which shows the running seconds, and on the right, you have uh, a pointed date indication showing the date. And it's just wonderfully simple and a very, very beautiful watch. I think what this collection demonstrates is that Mont Blanc is a brand that takes watchmaking extremely seriously. It is obsessive about the details. It deserves to be considered among one of the finest in luxury watchmaking today.